swinging. So we're just playing a little ball back here. But I figured what a great day outside to fix the Excalibur headphones. That's right. They've got a little bit of a tear. So we're going to go ahead and do a little home repair. So to replace those ear pads, we picked up a pair of gel ear seal rugged ear pads. We're going to go ahead and install those. Now to do that, we're going to use Aqua Seal. It is a form of adhesive. It's great for repairing things like waders, wetsuits, but you can also use it to bond uh, some of these things like these ear pads to other objects. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start removing the old ear pads. You can see a bunch of sand has been built up on there. Probably hasn't helped the adhesive or the glue that was originally holding them on, hence why they came off. And I think that happened just over the course of wearing them, being out in the sun, in the water, the elements, things like that. So. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and clean them out to the best of your ability, get all of that sand, all of that grit off of there. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab a little bit of sandpaper. What you're gonna do is use that to get any extra old glue that's been dried up off of there, as well as any final sand, and it's gonna help rough up the plastic just enough so that when you put that Aqua Seal onto it, it's gonna help fill in and bond to the backing of the headphones and that's important because we don't want those headphones to slip off. If you have any remaining glue, pro tip, use a toothpick. It won't scratch the backing on your headphones more than necessary. I would not recommend using like a flathead screwdriver or a razor blade. You're just asking for trouble. Using a toothpick will help you immensely. All right, now as we begin to stall the new ear pads, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the Aqua Seal and start to spread it on both the headphones and the new ear pads. Now, just use it sparingly, you don't need a lot. Really, it's just a fine coat, and we're gonna go ahead and sandwich them together on both sides. Once you have it applied to both surfaces, you can go ahead and start the process of fitting it together and getting it bonded. Now, these ear pads are a little bit small, but that's okay because after a little bit of research, we're gonna make it work, I promise. And if not, well, we'll just start the process all over again and do another video. Once you've affixed the ear pads onto the headphones, you're gonna want something to clamp it down. Now, I've got a couple of options. They may not be the best, but we're working with what we have for a DIY project. You can use rubber bands. Now, I have two sets on there right now, and it doesn't look like they're holding that well. So, I came up with an alternative idea. Grab like a small soccer ball or beach volleyball, anything that you may have, because it's gonna mimic the shape to a point of your head, and that pressure of the headphones Pressing against the ball should hopefully help bond those ear pads right in place where you're gonna want them. Now on mine, it started to slip, and I think it was because that ball is a little bit too big. So we went Wiley e. Coyote, went back to the drawing board, and we're back to rubber bands. Now instead of two, we just went one, we put it right in the center. We're gonna leave them sitting throughout the afternoon to go ahead and cure, and hopefully that Aqua Seal bonds really nicely to the new ear pads and we'll have a brand new set of headphones for the Excalibur 2. All right, it's been about 48 hours and the headphones are looking good. I mean, the Excal is ready to go. The Aqua Seal bonded really nicely. We ended up going with just one rubber band right around the middle of the headphone. That seemed to give me the best pressure. Although I really do think that that ball uh, technique with the earphones just sitting there would have worked if the ball was just a little bit smaller But they were starting to slide so we just put a rubber band on them and just let them hang freely and that seemed to do the trick I mean the bond like I said it is solid and you put these on and these ear pads I'll link them below but man the sound proofing is unbelievable like, it kills all the traffic noise around me. I live right by a major road. I can hardly hear it. And it sounds like I'm yelling right now just because the seal is so good on these headphones. And they're very comfortable. The gel in these, I could wear these all day out detecting. I am pumped. I mean, check it out for yourselves. I mean, look, the seal is pretty good. You can definitely tell where the rubber band was right down the middle. Uh, the seal was a little bit tighter than up here at the top. I don't have to worry about these falling off for quite a while. And if I do need to remove them, it's not like it's Gorilla Glue. I can just go ahead, get a little razor under there, and just pry them out, do it all over again. So yeah, this DIY project couldn't have happened at a better time because this weekend, 
I'm going detecting. It's gonna be super hot. Can't wait to get the x -Gal in the water. And well, if we're in the water, you guys know what that means. Also, make sure you guys check out MetalDetectingLife.com. We've got some new articles up if you haven't visited lately. But until then, we're gonna keep swinging for the ring. One other trick that you can use to get some of that old blue. One trick that you can do to get some of that other one last step that you can do to get that, gosh, to struggle. I need more coffee! One final step that you can use to get that old glue off of your headphones, grab a toothpick. It's bleh, bleh, bleh. Doctor! One final step you can use to get that old glue off of your headphones, Ugh, headphones. That was better.